what we're looking at here now is the, the bow section of the ship and we can see these drapes of rust down the side and again down the side of the ship and these are the byproducts of tiny organisms that are actually eating their way and munching their way to the steel of the Titanic. Um, scientists didn't know much about these until the Titanic was found and because she was such a brand new ship they could quantify her rate of decay because of the date that she went down and there have been further scientific experiments with steel down there. Just to explain, uh, this is not the ship rusting. It looks like it's rust, but it's not actually rusting, and there's a couple of reasons for that. It's not rusting very much anyway. It's very, very cold down there, one or two degrees centigrade, and there's almost no oxygen, and we were down it to 0.01 of a percent of oxygen, and you need a lot of oxygen for rust to take place. So what you have are microbes that are eating things like the manganese and the zinc out of the steel, and when they're digested, this is the waste product that forms these almost very unique tassels that hang down and they eat through the steel and then the panels collapse and even inside the ship it's all been eaten away and in some places indeed the ship has actually started to collapse but the more the rusticles uh, eat, are, are eating away or the microbes are eating away the more the surface area of the ship increases and it all becomes exponential.